Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the InGroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm going to be going over Drop 2 for Record Store Day 2020. This is the September 26th drop. A little bit smaller than the last drop, but still a lot of great titles. Uh, I got most of it in, so there's a few things missing from this list. I'm not The list that we'll have on Record Store Day that I'm not going to be able to show you, but I'll go over what I do have. All of this stuff will be available on our website at www.theingroove.com at 1 o'clock Eastern Time on Record Store Day, September 26th. Uh, yeah, so we're going to open a couple hours early. The locals, they get first crack at some of this stuff for a couple of hours. Anything that doesn't sell locally, which is going to be a good chunk of it because I kind of order really, really heavy uh, for the uh, web store. So we're going to have a lot of stuff on the website come 1 o'clock Eastern. But yeah, let's take a look. I did an unboxing on this. This is the Allman Brothers, live at Fillmore West. What is this? I think I read the blurb online. This is a full show, recorded January 31st, 1971. Like I said, I did an unboxing on this. It has a little glow-in-the-dark poster flat included. The alarm. Celtic Folklore Live. It's kind of, I wonder where these things sat for so long. You can still see most of these still have the April 18th sticker for the original planned record store day. Solomon Burke, Back to My Roots. First ever reissue of this 1976 album. Hmm. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's not common because I don't know if I've ever seen one of these things before, an original. The Boys Next Door. That's going to be pretty popular. I got called a few times on that. Reissue of Jealous again. Black Crows. Bad Flower, The Jester. Acoustic version picture desk. Big L on pink vinyl. It includes the original demo version of Eight Is Enough. Double disc. Lenny Bruce. A lot of, a lot of uh, kind of a big resurgence, resurgence on Lenny Bruce ever since the marvelous Miss Maisel. You know, his, he was a pretty big character on that show, and you couldn't really give away a Lenny Bruce record, but ever since uh, Maisel, there is a lot of action on Lenny Bruce. This stuff does not stick around the store anymore. It sells pretty quick. Robbie Basho, Songs of the Avatars, The Lost Master Tapes, our selections from The Lost Master Tapes. This is going to be a pretty hot one. Batman and Robin. This is one of two titles my wife wanted for herself. Cone Grow. Half yellow, half clear, with blue and green splatter. Not familiar with this, but I'm guessing the vinyl looks pretty cool. Brandy Carlisle. Yeah. Canned Heat, Record Store Day Party with Canned Heat. Now folks, some good advice. Don't store your joints on top of your tone arm. That's gonna throw off your tracking force. So damage your records. So just word to the wise. A Life in Waves, original motion soundtrack. I might have to listen to this. That looked pretty interesting. Reissue of Coolio's Gangster Paradise. I saw him at the State Fair maybe uh, five years ago. It's actually a pretty good show. It's like a hip hop hip hop throwback concert. Digital Underground. Who I went to? That's who I went for. Coolio. It was like Curtis Blow. It's a pretty good show. 
Willie Colon. Costa Nostra, I did an unboxing on this. I listened to this. This is a fantastic Celsa record. Really good. Uh, yeah, original All Analog Master by Kevin Gray. Solid tip on jacket. I mean, this is a really, really solid record. I really have enjoyed this. I played it in the few, store a few times since I did the unboxing video on it and got a lot of good responses to it. You know, anything by Kevin Gray is typically well regarded on record store days, so that's going to be uh, pretty successful. Dinosaur Jr., Swedish Fish. Swedish Fist, live in Stockholm. The Gerudi Column, Idiot Savants. This has a exclusive 180 gram white vinyl on Demon Records. What is this? Currency, Pilot Talk. This is pressed on Coke bottle green vinyl, limited to 2,000 units. The Dark Crystal. Soundtrack. Picture this. Let's see. Original music from the Netflix series. Man, I was really, really, really thrilled about this album. When I saw it was coming out on, uh, you know, they did a box set that had the stripped cuts from the Soft Parade on the CD box set. I'm not a big CD fan. I never got it, but they did it for Record Store Day on vinyl. So this is essentially that I wanted to do an unboxing of this, but what was I going to unbox? I mean, it's, that's what you get. So there's nothing to show you, but yeah, the Soft Parade's stripped. Essentially, they took out all the orchestration. So there's no horns, you know, all that's gone. Uh, they remixed it. Essentially, Reman Zarek is more prevalent in the mix. And Robbie Krieger in 2019 went back and like touch me where there's the uh, horn part at the end. He put in like a really nice fuzzy guitar solo. So really, really good. Soft Parade, one of my favorite Doors albums. The Doors, my favorite band. So again, I was really looking forward to this. This really did disappoint. It's on nice crystal clear vinyl, quiet as can be. I enjoyed that. Listen to it today. Did an unboxing on this as well. You can check that out on the channel. Bill Evans, Some Other Time. This is the Lost Session from the Black Forest. This was a record store day title in 2016. Uh, they did 4,000 of them in 2016. This time they did 6,000 of them. It notates on there that it's a second pressing. The original of this that came out in 2016 goes for around $250 now. I've seen copies on Discogs go as high as 800 bucks. So this is going to be extremely popular. Uh, this is, all, again, a title that I actually didn't get the first time around because it was pretty short that first time around, and I only got a couple of them, so I wanted to leave it for the store, and I didn't take one. This is actually another really good album that I've listened to. I did an unboxing on it as well. Fleetwood Mac, The Alternate Rumors. Uh, this is a ongoing series that they've done with Fleetwood Mac. They've done Mirage. They've done The Alternate Tusk. They did The Alternate Self-Title. They did Tango at the Night. And of course, they left Rumors for last. I would imagine this is probably the end of this series. Limited to 16,000, which is nothing. Like I mentioned in that unboxing video, this is the best-selling album I have had in the six years that the store has been open. Nothing sells as good as Rumors. Uh, I would say Dark Side of the Moon would be a very close second. So that'll be really popular, and it's good. There's a demo on here of the chain, but man, that didn't sound anything like the chain. I, I, I did a double take there for a minute. I had to go back over here and look at what it was because it was so far off from the final, final work. The very best of Jerry Garcia. This is a 5LP box. Disc 1 and 2 are studio recordings. Disc 3, 4, and 5 are live recordings. Uh, this is to 4,000. Limited edition of 4,000. I don't see any numbering on there, but yeah, pretty solid heavy box set. 
make some space. Keep that over there. Group Love, Broken Angel, Picture Disc. The Gun Club, Live in London, 1983. The legendary 1983 concert at the Lyceum in London, remastered from original tapes. History of Sickness, exclusive record store day, pressing of a thousand units with an etched backside. This is pre-gore, Death Piggy. Pre-gore, let's see, mid 80s, art punk. This is another title I did an unboxing of and I actually was wanting to listen to this today but I didn't get to it. I've heard a lot of hype about this, uh, you know, being really, really good. But, uh, yeah, have not had a chance to get to it. So, hopefully tomorrow. Ellie Goulding, Lights 10. This was a recycle-themed record, so they didn't want to use any shrink on it. And I didn't want to put price tags directly on your guys' records, so I put it in a bag. So there ended up being plastic on this one anyways. But, yeah. It's not shrink wrap free anymore. 2 titles from Third Man, Screaming Jay Hawkins. Because is in your mind, and what that is. Third Man releases are always extremely popular because they are Third Man label collectors. So regardless of whether or not somebody wants to listen to Screaming Jay Hawkins, people will buy it. Honey, yes, 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 yes. Alan Holdsworth, let's see, Road, Road Games. Hootie and the Blowfish, live at Nick's Fat City. You know, they actually did a pretty solid job with this. It's a real nice reflective cover, you know, nice presentation, limited to 5,000. And it's from, you know, the Cracked Rearview Tour. So solid 1995, you know, kind of what they when they were at their height. Doing a cover of the Ballad of John and Yoko. I watched this not too long ago. Hackers. It's amazing how dated this movie is. <laughs> when you think of uh, where we are with the uh, internet nowadays and technology in general. Get just seeing a floppy disk. Like, when's the last time any of you actually seen a floppy disk? I found one in my... I was cleaning the garage. So the beginning of the pandemic. I'm like, I want to make use of the time. The store's closed. Hadn't really done much online at that point. Let's make use of the pandemic. Let's clean the garage. Been meaning to do that for 10 years. Clean the garage. Actually found a floppy disk in there. I just chucked it. I'm sure there was something important on it, but I have absolutely no way of retrieving it. But yeah, hackers. Johnny Thunder and Wayne Kramer's Gang War. Bert Janch, live in Italy. Previous unreleased live album of double vinyl for Record Store Day. Oh, on double vinyl. Yeah, that makes a little more sense. On double vinyl for Record Store Day. Shooter Jennings, live at Bonnaroo, 2006. Let's see. Corb Lund. Uh, New West Records. Mortal Kombat soundtrack. Going to be popular. 
composed by George Clinton. Chuck Mosley, first halos and last goodbyes. Another hype sticker from April 18th. Let's see, Mers and Ninth Wonder. Limited to a thousand units, pressed on blue and white swirl vinyl. What is with the units? I'm guessing actually I'm only seeing that on hip hop albums, so maybe that's like, you know, you gotta be hip to understand what that means, and that's not me, so we'll just pass that. Uh, we'll just skip over that. Mata Hoople, the golden age of rock and roll, the definitive CBS collection, limited edition blue vinyl, two LP set. On Madfish, Paul McCartney. McCartney, this is an Abbey Road Half Speed Master title. This is going to be popular. It's a Beatles related item. Everything record store day Beatles related always sells out. So that will be extremely popular. I did an unboxing of it, but that's going to be probably the last title that I unbox that I'll listen to. Melanie. An Evening with Melanie. Live 1974. Yeah, I'm a Beatles fan, but you know, I've probably heard McCartney, that album, like 10 gazillion times. Nocturnal Emissions, Tissues of Lies. So I can wait, you know, until I get through the stuff that I don't listen to as much before I put it on. Night Beats, Sonic Boom. Now this, I've gotten a lot more calls on than I would have assumed. Notorious B.I.G. This is the box set with his four albums. The Notorious B.I.G. Ready to Die, Life After Death, Born Again, and Conspiracy. So it's pretty limited. They're doing 2,000 of them on clear vinyl, and there's a new version of, let's see, Life After Death and Born Again is a new 2020 remaster. Yeah, no doubt this is going to be extremely popular. It is extremely limited, but I'm pretty sure all of these albums are available individually already. Maybe one of them's not. I'm not sure. Nas, God's Son. Primus, suck on this. Recorded live in Berkeley in 1989. Let's see, limited edition blue vinyl with 3D artwork. Like a French psych vo a French psych comp, it looks like. Volume six, nineteen sixty to nineteen seventy. Let's see, Parish Hall set self title. Let's see, long out of print classic from Bay Area Power Trio. This is I'm not familiar with this. I kept one of these for myself just because it is uh, cut from the original tapes by Kevin Gray, which. It's getting to the point now, anything that he does that's analog, I just buy. It's kind of like, you know, you got MoFi collectors, you got collectors of audiophile labels. He unto himself has kind of become an audiophile label. Anything by him is extremely good and tends to hold value real well. Dave Pike, Jazz for the Jet Set. Iconic album. Great record. Herbie Hancock's on it. Clark Terry. No doubt will be popular. Marty Wilson Piper, let's see, limited edition colored vinyl, 2008 masterpiece available for the first time ever on vinyl. All right, let's see, Natalie Press, let's see, limited edition repress, plus a bonus seven inch. Did an unboxing on this, the replacement, the replacements, the complete and consecrated live. Three disc set. 
this looks awesome. I'm not I've never heard of this, but that cover makes me buy this record and I'm gonna listen to it. Look at that. Queen and Slim, the soundtrack. I am a fan of buying and listening to records based on the cover, and that's like a top candidate on Motown. The Residence, the original soundtrack recording, Icky Flicks. Did an unboxing on this one as well, the Ramones, It's Alive 2. I absolutely love the I love the quality of this photograph on the cover. So nice, so crystal clear. It almost looks like, you know, that's a photograph that could have been, you know, taken at a concert last week, you know, if there had not been, you know, a pandemic and all four Ramones being dead. But other than that, it could have been, you know, the quality and it put that on, a, you know, they did a good job putting that album together. Rockabye Baby, Lullaby Renditions of Wu-Tang Clang. Has, they did a Fleetwood Mac version of this, and uh, somebody bought it a while back, and I remember they brought it in the next day, and they're like, yeah, this isn't Fleetwood Mac. I'm like, no, I know. They're like, it's it's like child lullabies, but they're Fleetwood Mac songs, but it's not Fleetwood Mac singing. I'm a, yeah, I don't think Fleetwood Mac's going to release an album of lullabies. Sky, Keeping Secrets. But I'm like, yeah, I'll be happy to, you know. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll give you store credit for that. We'll swap that out. Jimmy Sweeney, Without You. Rock and Roll's Greatest Mystery Voice finally has a name. Squirrel Nut Zippers, The Inevitable. Let's see, Sunvolt. Let's see, only 1,500 at 2LP on orange vinyl, recorded live in Asheville, North Carolina in 2005. Live at the Orange Peel. Al Pacino in Serpico, let's see. 1973 film score, arranged by Bob James, newly remastered audio. I've not actually seen the movie, but the cover makes me want to see the movie. Might be a good soundtrack, too. New album by Sophie Tucker. Dancing on the People. I actually dig Sophie Tucker. I've seen them in concert. It was a weird experience. I was extremely out of place at that concert, but I enjoyed it. Uh, this, I don't think, is as good as their last album and first EP. But maybe it'll grow on me. Britney Spears, Oops, I Did It Again. This is the remixes and what, B-sides? Remixes and rarities on vinyl. Did an unboxing on this really cool colored vinyl. It's like a clear and blue swirl. Tegan and Sarah. Tonight's, let's see, tonight in the dark we're seeing colors. Roger Waters' The Wall. Probably be listening to this tomorrow. Look, did an unboxing on it, looked real nice, double disc. Uh, the coolest thing about this, you know, when I first got it, I assumed, yeah, the, the Wall, live in Berlin, double disc, what do you think? You know, maybe 45, 50 bucks, you know, to get The Wall is actually, I think it's 44.99. But yeah, 24 bucks, $24.99 for The Wall, live in Berlin. So when the actual wall cost $20 more, I kind of felt like that was a deal. I was shocked. I did a double take, had to double check the price sheet, make sure I wasn't uh, making a mistake. Whale. Wow. That's crazy. Not that, but that, I think that's the name of the album. Whale, wow, that's crazy. Limited edition red vinyl. So. Yeah. Will Covered. 19 covers of Wilco songs performed by renowned artists and friends of the band. 
Billy Gibbons, Puss in Boots, Kurt Vile, Twin Peaks, Whitney. Hmm. Let's see, Summer Walker, Last Day. And here is the other album that my wife wanted. She really digs movie soundtracks. That's pretty much what she buys. X-Files, music from the X-Files. First time on vinyl, limited edition, pressed on glow-in-the-dark vinyl, trust no one. Probably going to be horribly noisy. Glow-in-the-dark vinyl typically always is. This is a great album. This is actually, maybe I listened to this two or three hours ago. Camille Yarrow, The Iron Pot Cooker. This has uh, Take Your Praise. This was, you know, you, even if you're not a fan of R&B, you've heard this album. Uh, Fatboy Slim, Slim sampled the record. This is actually 100% analog, cut by Kevin Gray. It's an interesting album. It's kind of like uh, Patti Smith Horses on side one. You know, it's kind of uh, that same feel, the way she moves through the music, but with a lot more funk. So Patti Smith, think of Patti Smith but funky. Side two is a more traditional, there's a lot more traditional funk uh, killer, killer funk guitar on side two. But side one kind of is the more spoken word, uh, spoke, spoken word, but fantastic album. Sound on this is absolutely fantastic. An original of this, I think is 150, 200 bucks. I've got one at home. It doesn't sound anywhere near as good as this. So this is going to be extremely popular and $24.99 again solid tip on jacket all analog cut by Kevin Gray that's uh, that's a no-brainer fantastic sounding album I saved Latin a tribute to Wes Anderson a tribute to Black Sabbath Nativity in Black first ever vinyl reissue first ever US release pressed in clear with heavy black swirl vinyl limited to 3,000 copies typo negative megadeth white zombie and that looks pretty interesting white zombies doing children of the grave Ugly Kid Joe's doing NIB, Faith No More is doing War Pigs, Typo Negative is doing Black Sabbath. Hmm. Ozzy Osbourne with Therapies doing Iron Man, does that really count? If Ozzy Osbourne's covering Black Sabbath? I guess. I don't think that should count. All right. High Tide Grooves, DJ's Choice, 1969 to 1981, kind of a, let's see, it looks like a double disc comp from what, you know, double disc comp from the high label. These are two-tone. This are two-tone. From two-tone records, the specials, the beat, the selector. Let's see, yeah. And Dance Craze, another two-tone reissue, or two-tone release. This looks pretty good. You don't see too many music on vinyl uh, site comps, but what does this say? Let's see. Hard to find Dutch beat scene rarities. Limited to 3,000 copies on yellow vinyl. Disc 2 is turquoise vinyl. And music on vinyl numbered on the back. All right, let's check out some 7 inches. Bayside Heaven. Susto, picture disc, weather balloons. Ah, this will be popular. Jimi Hendrix, message to love and changes, individually numbered. From the album Band of Gypsies. What's actually interesting on this is they're hand numbered. You don't see it too much anymore. Jesse Dayton sings Doug.
This is such a cool packaging. I almost wanted it because it's all silk screened. It's super limited, but I have no clue what this is. The good life and the pauses play the breeders. Okay, I know the breeders, but yeah, I'm not a not not really in the know on the good life. Let's see the dead south doing the house of the rising sun and this little light of mine. Okay. All right, that might be interesting. Heart bones, hurricane. And old dirty bastard, the return of the 36 chambers, the dirty version. This is numbered, they only did 3,000 of them. And it is on nine seven inch singles, blue, yellow and white vinyl individually numbered real cool box you know in case you want some old dirty bastard in your jukebox you're covered tub low bikini porn 10 inch nahako medicine for the people Take your power back live. Cool artwork. Hank Williams and his Drifting Cowboys with Miss Audrey. 1951 March of Dimes. That's pretty cool. Recorded fall 1950. Please destroy, destroy transcription after campaign. Recorded, let's see. Performance is newly restored and remastered. First time on final. Hmm. Local band, the Meat Puppets, 10 inch. Sugar Finger, big rock candy mountain multiply. And of course, the Rolling Stones. This is a complimentary picture disc to the upcoming Steel Wheels live box set that's coming out. I think it comes out this week if you are interested i think i still have it available on the website for pre-order so let's see this side almost here you sigh live from tokyo and rock in a hard place live from atlantic city new jersey all right guys that is it for this record store day drop number two the september 26 drop 2020 don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And again, you can buy all this stuff at our website at www.theingroove.com.